Welcome back. Well, Aussie farmers are the backbone of this great country. It takes resilience, passion, and a whole lot of bloody hard work, all at the mercy of the elements. Stories like this really hit home for me. My brother Tom, once a known cameraman, and his beautiful wife Jenna, once a Today Show producer, packed up their city life to live and work on the family almond farm in Griffith. Three generations all living under one roof, taking what was once an old family recipe and turning into a new wave. Their story is inspiring and one I wanted to learn about. So I headed 600 kilometres west of Sydney to get my very clean RMs a little dirty. And boy, was I put through my paces. Fresh air, family. Where you been, mate? You're late. What the hell are you wearing? What do you mean? Dennis, give him his uniform. That's for the border room, mate. This is for the farm. Oh. All right. Look that hard. Hey, Carl. You want me to use Come this? On. Yeah. Forward, reverse. Yep. Shake the tree. Shake the tree. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> Is that bad? Uh, it will recover. One side will recover. Anyway, I'll take it out of your pay, mate. Oh, no. <laughs> So here we are, Diesel, obviously a very successful morning out here on the farm for me. Yeah, you've done very well. I'm showing some potential, aren't no I? Worries. Who sits here and peels them? Because that's a big job. It's not a family job, that one. That's, <laughs> that's for the hullers and shellers. Yeah. Now, how does my brother and your daughter get milk out of that? Well, you, you've got to turn it up the right way for a start. Yeah. The milk comes out. You, you milk it like... Yeah, like that. You're having a go at me, aren't you? No. That's true, mate. <laughs> You'll see. All right. We'll get you in there after. All right. <laughs> Come, I'll show you how to milk an almond. Your old man already told me. Well, there's a little bit more to it. We soak our almonds every night and make it fresh every day. What the soaking does is starts the germination process. There is an enzyme within an almond that can be difficult for some people to digest. Soaking starts that germination process and then that almond releases that enzyme so it's a lot more digestible. Quick, 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 quick. This is much harder than TV. Everyone said, Mom, this is really good. You should make this. And I said, oh, okay. It's a hell of a leap to go from Tootie's Kitchen out here in Griffith. Yeah. Is it surprising yeah, at all? Yeah, I'm blown away. Never yeah. thought it could get this far. I can't believe how much you take on, how big it's grown, and it's just one little family. Yeah. That's right. There's How a lot of work? a lot of families do it. There's a lot of families that are doing it. They start small, and build it up, and expand. What does the future hold? Oh well, maybe we'll step back soon. Yeah. <laughs> Let the young ones take over. Me and Dad and my grandfather, we took off one week down to South Australia to where the big almond growing region was, and we went and had a look at some farms down there. And I think we fell in love with it straight away. Like, yeah, well, we could really envision what we could do on our farm here in Griffith. It's one thing to have a look at it, it's another thing to do it. Has it had its moments? Oh, it has, yeah, <laughs> most definitely. The first few years of growing the almonds, we had absolutely no idea what we're doing, but we made plenty of mistakes and learnt from our mistakes very quick. All my life, whether we were growing rice when I was five years old to now growing almonds, 30 years old, you know, to see your product on the shelf, I think it's a very proud, proud moment to see. You two both gave up lives in the city to walk these trees. How's it been? 
Yeah, it's been amazing. It's been a, an, an adjustment, but uh, you know, coming out to the farm when we were visiting, when we had corporate jobs in Sydney, we fell in love with what Annette, Dennis and Dean were doing out here on the farm and that real connection to the land that you get when living out in the country. And Look at what your mum and dad have done. Yeah. Like it's amazing. Yeah. Incredible. It's a testament to their hard work and their passion for the land. Yeah. We're really proud and that has always been our quest to get this product out there. Tootie reckons this could go global, this product. <laughs> well, well, we are assuming. She's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it all from working hard. Not delivery. Hey. There you go. What a day, huh? Yeah. Big day. Big day. Here we go. Let's do it. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Nice and chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, big guy. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Cheers. <laughs> do you reckon the trees feel bad for their cousins who have now milk? <laughs> <laughs> their nervous system is pretty limited. Oh, I'm very proud of Dina Collins have done such a yeah. great job. And just in the last couple of years, my brother's just been in a, in a car, basically selling it from operator to operator, um, coffee shop to coffee Amazing. shop. Uh, now they're in Harris Farms and Woolies. And Justin Hems in, in Sydney has them in all these venues. And I'm just so proud of the hard work they've done. Um, and, and I just love them so it's much. It's beautiful. But, and it is. Yeah. It's hard work, isn't it? It's dedication. Uh, you know, and you, what did you say about my outfit? <laughs> I thought your outfit was terrific. <laughs> She's bagging the hell out of me. You wouldn't know what it's like to work. Sure, you look comfortable out there, Carlos. Let me tell the you. Socks were dry. Thank you. I love the little tradie outfits it was on the kids as well. The yeah, they're is. gorgeous they're so kids. So cute. Yeah. The hair on them. I'm their favourite uncle too. Yeah, there you are, Carly. <laughs> it was beautiful, Carlos. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Incredible. News time. Yeah. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?